vlog, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm doing a get ready with me and I'm testing some new products. I have some products that I want to try and want to try with you but I don't feel like doing a first impression like dedicated to any of these products. So I thought like okay I'm just going to do a get ready with me and test these products with you. So I have a foundation, I have new brushes and I have an eyeshadow palette. And I think that's all. So, <laughs> I'm going to start with my eyes. And the eyeshadow palette is from Black Moon Cosmetics. It's the Orb of Light. And I don't know if you can see how gorgeous this is. The only thing, this is in plastic. <laughs> I was like so sure it was going to be in cardboard. But it is in plastic. And it looks like this. And this doesn't look like a fun palette. Um, <laughs> I think it looks really good, but I don't thought it was like going good to do a dedicated video on this. And is it plastic on the mirror? Um, so I'm going to do a first impression with this. And I'm also testing out a new foundation, the Born to Glow Natural Radiant Foundation from NYX. I hope the color on this is okay. NYX are usually pretty good at light foundations. And then I have some brushes from Hiccup that I'm going to try as well. And I am going to test out some of the face, no, the eye brushes. Um, so I'm going to take test out the Orb of Lights. And I got a brush with that palette. I got this brush. This is supposed to be an eyeshadow brush. And that's I love big brushes, but this is like too big. So I'm going to use some of my brushes I have and also the one for hip hiccup. Um, we can start with the thing because I don't know if I'm going to start cry when I talk about this or not. If you, like three weeks ago, a little bit more, I wrote that I was going through some personal stuff and I mentioned what 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 it was in a video and I also... Um, had it on my story on Instagram, but okay, I can't cry. We have had two cats, and one of our cats passed passed away. Um, I don't know how. Like, we had to put her to sleep. I don't know if you say it like that in English, but she's not alive anymore, and it has been so hard. I. I know it would be hard, but not like this hard. Um, and it feels... <laughs> Sometimes I feel so silly to talk about this and still be sad about it. But I know if you have had animals in any time of your life, I think you know how it feels. And uh, it still feels really hard. Uh, I still miss her like crazy. She was, I always said she was my little baby, but she was actually nine. But she still was like a little kitten. She was with us all the time. She talked a lot. She always slept with us in the bed. And I miss her like crazy. The thing that was wrong with her... They don't really know. We took her to the vet on a Wednesday because she was tired. Or she was like, she was not herself. You know, like her whole body was like... Um, so we called the vet and they asked us to win with her. And when we came to the vet, she was breathing very like... Like she couldn't get air. And they did an x-ray and they did ultrasound. But then she, on Friday, she, the Friday, so two days after we took her to the vet, uh, she had a heart failure and, and they couldn't save her. So, and the only like humane thing was to put her down and it hurted like hell for like, four days or something it still hurts it feels still it feels so empty and it feels it feels like I've lost something um, but I am okay and 
I was so worried with our other cat, Elsa, she's sleeping here behind the camera, that she, okay, I have to start to do my makeup, uh, that she was going to take this so hard, but she has, she is herself, but she is much more like, she's with us much more <laughs> before she was like, Bodil, the cat that we don't have anymore, she was really like, yeah, like the little baby, she was with us all the time, and Elsa, she was much more to herself, was with us sometimes, she was, Elsa is like the typical kitten, you know, if she wants to be with us, she is with us, if she doesn't want to be with us, we like don't exist, but she has been so much more with us these three weeks, and I was so worried that she was going to feel like so alone but we have been home with her like we haven't done so much things so she hasn't been alone I don't know if she cares about it but I do and it feels good to be with her okay is, maybe I should talk about something else than sad things um, this shade was so good and like so creamy So that was pretty rough and I, it's like when you get animals, uh, you know that it's going to happen sometime, but I was like prepared maybe in 20 years, not nine. And it happened like in two days. Um, but yeah. And also the vet thought it was something wrong with her heart since birth. And she told us that it's not always that they can find, if it's just like a tiny problem, it's not, it's not, even if we took her to the vet to, before to check on her heart, it wasn't like 100% sure that it was going to find anything. So yeah. Okay, that was that. I also wanted to do a little update. I talked about some things I wanted to do this year and now I like, don't remember all the things. I don't think it was that much. But one thing I said I wanted to do was to eat more vegan food. And I have. In January I ate vegan the whole month and now in February I have eaten non-vegan two times so I do not call myself a vegan because I am like not a vegan but I eat vegan food again and I didn't eat vegan when me and my boyfriend we were at a friend's house and I still feel very like I don't know how to put this um, I think if you have, if you have maybe like something strict like dieting, if you go away, you feel like the most annoying pe person ever. Like, no, I can't eat this. No, I can't eat that. No, I can't eat that. So I'm like, I'm not a vegan when somebody is making food to me because I don't want to be that person. Maybe later this year maybe in a couple of years i don't know but yeah and the only thing i miss is chocolate like vegan chocolate is not the same not at all okay i don't really know what i want to do i want to test the brush from hiccup i want to deep down the crease a little bit with like this red shade oh jesus this was pigmented these are like crazy pigmented these shades I like barely touched it, it felt like, but... Whew. So yeah, my vegan life is going good. And right now, today, like before I started turning this, I discovered a super good thing. This is a corn cake? Corn thing? Mice cake in Swedish. And I put hummus on it and oh my god. This is so good, so good. And now 
I will go in with this brush also for makeup. You want to know what the name is? This was an eye blending. And this is short shading. And it feels like I got hummus in my whole mouth. And I always feel like <laughs> it might get ready with me. It feels like I'm the worst doing these. But you seem to like them. So I guess I'm doing something right. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go in with that again. Or that was called blood. Or if I just want to take this it feels like I'm going to break this palette just because it's plastic. I don't know if I want to take that shade maybe. I use this in my crease and then this. And if I want to take this or this. I think I will take this and then take the blood shade out here. So I try this brush. Okay, and have... Anything else happen in my life? No, not yet. But I think this video is going up on Friday. I have actually started to like try to plan a week ahead. <laughs> and I managed one week. But I still, it feels kind of good. I'm filming this on a Tuesday. And I am planning on having it up on Friday. That is not planning. But yeah. <laughs> At least try. If I have bought like a weekly planner. Where I can write down what I want to put up. And that is like a big. Or like a huge. Thing for me. Because I have never done that before. Um, but on Saturday. So the day after this. I am going to do such a fun thing. I am going to visit Jessica and it's not just going to be me this time. It's going to be Malin, Angelica, Linda, a friend of Jessica I think that is called Madeleine. I have never met her. I have never met Linda or Malin either but Madeleine she doesn't have a YouTube channel and me and Jessica I think it's only us. And it's going to be so fun to like hang out with girls that love makeup as much as I do. It feels like the older you get, like the less you hang out <laughs> with friends. Me and my boyfriend, we was in Gothenburg this weekend. And no, Elsa was not alone. Uh, one of my boyfriend's sisters lived in our apartment over the night and kept Elsa company. Uh, but we thought like it is so hard to find time to hang out when you're older. And we were like, what are we even doing with our time? It's like we, me and my boyfriend, we, I don't know what we are doing the whole days. But at the same time, like, <laughs> I don't know if because you're getting older or that you do more at work and than you did in school. But like when I was young, okay, I think I want to take the black. Okay, I actually think I will take the black and I will take the same brush. Maybe this is a stupid idea, but I do it. When he was when I was in school at least, I like didn't need any sleep at all and I could like out with friends all the time and I am an introvert I don't know if I have talked about this but I am really like an introvert I I think I have talked about this I love my friends but I can't hang out with them too much because it wears me out okay I take the blood shade a little bit and shade it and maybe it's because of that or it's just because you do things when you're older like you have to take care of a home and take care of yourself how many like 17 years or like 15 year olds to care of themselves you are not supposed to do that and yeah so it's going to be so fun 
to hang out with them on Saturday. We are not going to film anything. I don't think so. I don't know if like Jessica, Linda and Marlon is going to do that. But we, all of us, is not going to do that because it's going to be like too much. Um, but it's going to be so fun and we're going out and eat and just hang out. And the thing I feel is so strange when you meet somebody that you have like... Like the first time I met Jessica, <laughs> it was like, we know each other, but we don't. Because we have never met in real life, but we have talked um, on like Instagram and on YouTube. And I have seen your videos, I know how your beauty room looks like, I know... Like, I know things about you, even <laughs> though we have never met. And that is a little bit strange. But for me, um, I think it's maybe good because I'm both an introvert and I am pretty shy. Um, I sometimes have a really hard time to meet new people. One thing I hate is like this to do small talk. It's like the worst thing I know. I just hate it. <laughs> like when I was on a wedding last year um, me and my boyfriend we only knew the bride and groom and I have talked to some of the other people that were, the, that were there but yeah and I am not good at this small talk and like I don't want to it's like if I don't have anything good to say I am not going to say anything but some people aren't like that and uh, I don't like people that aren't like that. So okay, I actually think that I am done with the lids like this. I I really like this. So I'm going to take away the small amount of fallouts that I have. Because I have a little. And then I come back and we test out this foundation that I really hope works with the color. I really hope. I really hope so I will be back okay and I know that in my shop my stash I am supposed to use the milk makeup luminous blur stick but this is a luminous foundation and I want to see how like glowy this is okay natural radiance it is on its own so I'm going to use my Smashbox primer water instead don't kill me and I always am like oh, I always think it's so hard when I'm testing out a new foundation to know am I going to use a primer or not but at the same time I'm going to compare the foundation with my foundations I have and I like always use a primer because I am dry and I felt pretty dry so yeah I'm using this. I think NYX like always have pretty good lighter foundations. The only thing I feel, I always like want to try NYX foundations, but it feels like they most of the time has a like full coverage and that is not my guess. I have this in pale. I don't know if I'm going to compare it to the foundation I have. I swatched this in on H&M and it looked so yellow, but it is... I always have to go with the lightest shade. It looks like this and I think this might be too yellow. I don't know. I need a mirror. I have a natural skin tone. Undertone. Natural skin tone. A natural undertone. And I think... I find it hard when you are pale as me. Okay, I think this is like too yellow. Because it feels when it comes to lighter foundations like 9 out of 10 lightest shades are always like pink undertone and I don't know if that is because it's more common to be and uh, have a pink undertone when you're lighter or when you're pale I don't know but I have a natural undertone 
and it goes a little bit like to the warmer side for me so if I have to choose I take one with a warm undertone because it just looks better on me and I don't think that this is that glowy if I'm going to be honest I think the color though is pretty spot on So that's a plus. I think it's so hard to see on camera. But I think the color is really good. And it covers quite good. And it's a little bit hard because my normal foundation that I use is the serum foundation from the ordinary and that is like super light coverage it's like no coverage at all it's just like even out my skin okay it feels like I have nothing left on my hand it feels like I would wish it to be more more glow glow to the skin if I take it out with my finger first, maybe the sponge sucked it up. It feels like when I do like this that it's like so yellow that I'm going to look crazy. But I don't think I do. Okay, and this like... This is why I don't like to film after work because I have my eyebrows on. <laughs> I think at the camera, I think I look to too yellow. Patch. It looks better on like my... In my mirror it looks better than it looks on camera. Because it feels like I'm too yellow in camera, but in real life. But I also think it's so hard when I have like studio lighting to know. I would love to try it in natural lighting, but uh, do you know what? It's dark outside. Almost. It's dark. Okay, I don't actually know how it looks. I have to maybe... It's like it looks strange in the camera on my forehead. I don't think that this is... Like, radiant at all. People I have seen tested out, tested this out. They look so amazing, but I don't think I do, and I don't know what I think. It lays good on the skin, but I don't know with the color. It would just look a little bit strange because I'm like so dark around my eyes and I have like no shape in my face. So I don't know what I think. But I feel that the color, like the shade is good. But it feels like it's too yellow for me. Okay, I'm not sold. To be honest, I am not. I don't think I hate it. And sometimes I don't know when I have like have the same foundation for a really long time. I don't know if it's just because I am not used to this foundation or doesn't it look good. Maybe I have to help me a little bit. Maybe it does look good. Maybe I just need my other makeup on as well. Okay, so I am going to use um, a concealer from Glossier. Glossier. Um, this is the stretch concealer in G12. It looks like this. It looks like this and I like this. This is radiant though. Um, I do what you're not supposed to do. I take a sponge in this. I feel that that works best for me. I've tried with my fingers. And it feels like my fingers is taking away all the products. 
Maybe this is like too light coverage for this. I like to use this concealer together with my serum foundation because there is a very light coverage foundation and this is a light coverage concealer so it feels like they go good together but it works as you can see. I am having so, so much trouble with my under eyes again. I don't know, it was earlier, I think it was in like September and October I was so dry around this eye and now I am it again. So something like that I think. Now I am going in with, close this, um, with my contour and I am of course using the uh, Nip and Fab and I'm going to take this brush I think. This is called Multi Highlight uh, but I'm using this for my contour. And like I have talked about, this, I hate to do contour on camera. And if you want tips on how to do cream contour, watch someone else. Okay, the the brush is good. I think with not with a powder contour, I think it would be better. So I will try that after the next time. I'm going to powder my face and take my Lumina powder and. Now I'm going to use this powder brush. This has been the powder brush I have most, or this has been the brush that I have been most looking forward to. This is the powder deluxe. And do you see this? I love my eyeshadow brushes big. I love my blush brushes big. No, my powder brush is big. Yeah. Okay, brush. Let's see what you have. Okay, this feels so, so good. I can sometimes feel that powder brushes, they like don't feel that good to my skin, but this, this was like the softest thing I have ever felt. This is definitely a new favorite powder brush and I have had my favorite from Real Techniques for five years I think. But this was so good. And I think the foundation looks better now, doesn't it? I really think it do. And the foundation is set. So, love this. I'm all over the place. I'm sorry for that. Who is going to watch this video? I don't know. Okay, I think I'll try to have this to take on my blush. And this is the Angled Kabuki. And I will take this blush. This is Down Boy from... The Balm, one of my absolute favorite blushes of all time. So I'm going to try to do something. Okay, this picks up. I don't know if this is supposed to be a blush brush. Probably not. Oh! Okay, this picks up a lot of product. But it, it feels like I usually don't use such a stiff brush for my blush. Um, I don't think this was like the ultimate. This wasn't supposed to be a blush brush. Um, but I just wanted to try it. I think it works kind of good. I just have to like learn to work with it. It feels like it's spraying out the product really good. So... That is good. And then I'm actually going to use the one that is tapered blush. I'm going to use that for my highlight because this was a multi-highlight and no and oh. 
So I'm taking oh this one, the moon prism. <coughs> oh, the moon prism or blush, but the highlight from Lunar Beauty. Maybe this is a little big for a blush brush, highlight brush, but I will try. Okay, one thing that was a little bit hard was to have it like, this is really, really like fluffy and big. So I think this would go great as a blush brush. I think it works as a highlighter, it's just like you can't be that precise. So nothing to complain about the brushes, especially not this one. This was so good. So I will spray my face. So I will take something on my waterline and I, or on my low lash, and I will try this. This is a detailed crease, but it feels pretty like good <laughs> underneath your eyes, I hope. And I think, I think I will take this one and have it like the whole way and kind of smudge it out. I don't know. Okay, and I think I also want to take this one. This is the angled eyebrow. But I think I want to take the black and try to smoke it out closest to my lash line. Like down here. This is like, I don't know how this could be an eyeshadow or eyebrow brush. Because it's pretty big. Okay, so I feel I'm done with the eyes like this and I really like those eyeshadows if I'm going to be honest. Now I have only used these three and the black and yes, I really do like it. So I will take something in my work. Do you want to be with me on this? It feels like I am all over the place right now and have been like this whole video and I'm so sorry. What should I take in my waterline? I was like thinking of black. I know that you're not supposed to, but I think I actually will do that. So I will try to find the black core from Linda Holberg. And I am so sorry for you that has been with me all this long video. It feels like the most boring video I have ever done. When I was younger, I like always had black in my waterline and god damn my eyes look small. And then for mascara, I'm using the Kush mascara from Milk. I really, really, really like this mascara. It is so good. Okay, and a lip for this. Should we go like with the super obvious thing? Or should we not? Okay, it felt like the black shadow fold a little bit. It's going in and... Smudge it. Okay, so for the lips, should I go with the obvious thing or should I take something that is not the obvious thing? We take the obvious thing. We take Unicorn Blood from Jeffrey Star. Okay, friends, <laughs> this was this is my finished look, and I think I don't look like myself. Or who the hell do I I like to have darker like makeup, but this feels like, I don't know, if I look in the viewfinder, like, 
who is this? Is that me? And I don't know why I feel like that. But yeah, okay, to end this super long get ready with me, I am so sorry if I have bored you. This was not my intention, but a little recap. If we're going to take the foundation first, maybe. I don't know. I actually don't know. It wasn't like... When I have seen other wear it, it looks so radiant. Maybe I should have shaken it. Maybe that was the problem. I like never shake. Maybe I should have shaken it. I think the shade is good and it looks better now when I have the rest of my makeup on. It's just like I am so used to wearing a super light coverage foundation so it doesn't look strange at all. But I don't think this was radiant on me a bit. Maybe I should have shaken it. Maybe I need to try this more and I'm going to try this more. I can't say anything how it wears, but it looks good on the skin and it dry down pretty much. Okay, what is happening down under this eye? Poor little eye. Um, it dried down like not completely, but almost. Um, so yeah. I don't actually know what I think about it. I have to just test it more, I think. The brushes, I think this this was good to like go in and have defined the crease a little bit. And this one was also good, like a good packing brush. And this, I think I want to start to use this underneath my eyes to like blend things out more uh, yes and then if we take the face brushes I always almost used all of them um this was okay for cream contour I think I like a more this is pretty dense and this was a multi highlight uh, I want I don't going to use this to my cream contour anymore. I think I'm maybe going to use it to highlight or to do powder contour. This one was good on blush. Um, but it was, I really had to have it like this. I couldn't like go back and forth like this. I had to have it like that. It is okay, but an angled blush brush isn't my favorite. This one as uh, <laughs> to use for my highlight. It worked, but it felt like it came like all over. So I think this is better to blush. And this is a blush brush. So I will try it with blush. And then the powder brush. I love it. It is so soft. Maybe we can like compare it to my... Well, this is my Real Techniques and this is this one. So I think this is actually a little bit bigger. It just looks bigger because it's like more pointier. And this is absolutely my kind of powder brush. And this was so, so good. It's a new favorite powder brush. And it was so soft. So, so soft. And what do we have more? We have the eyeshadow palette. I really like it. I don't know though if I want to travel with it. Because when it is in plastic it feels like it's going to break. And I don't feel... Feel, think it's nice to hold it feels like it, I'm going to drop it and it's going to like shatter the shades I've tried so freaking good they were so creamy so pigmented and so easy to work with the black is I like this black it's not like too pitch black from the start but it was really easy to build it up to be really black and it was blendable so the palette as far as the four shades I used, really like it. It's going to be fun to use this. I don't think I will use it that much on camera, but it was so good. And I think that's all I want to talk about. I think I like this look, but it feels a little bit, I don't know. I have never been like this, like, oh, this is too dark, but I don't know. Maybe it was because my Nabla week, last week, I did very light looks, so maybe I'm like, but yeah, I really hoped you liked this video. It feels like I've talked about everything and nothing. 
I just wanted to sit down and talk to you while I do my makeup because I love to do that. And it feels like hanging out with friends when I'm doing it. So yeah, I really hope you like this long ass video. Maybe this is going to be my longest get rid with me ever. I don't know. But yeah, I really hope you like this and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!